Happy 2022, y'all. Yes. I'm Lonnie, the parental unit. And I'm Kathy Offspring. And, and welcome, welcome to, to our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. We're going to go over the 10 best New Year's resolutions for mom as of 2022. Um, and these are just ones that I found that have been the most popular. This is not our opinion. Nope. We're we going to go found over them. This. So we're going to go over and um, pull up each one. I'm going to express each one. And then we're going to give our opinion as to whether or not it's something that would work for us for a New Year's resolution. Okay. So add in yeah. more self-care to your busy schedule. Okay. Welcome to 2022. I hate the term self-care. I mean, I, I get it. I get self-care. I do self-care, you know, where I like I listen to classical music while I take a bath and relax and listen to my audible. I do like, not believe that taking care of yourself should be a New Year's resolution. It could just be an everyday thing. I mean, I understand. Yeah, yeah I understand that. But there are some a New people... Year's resolution is something you want to change about yourself. And if you want to change about yourself that you're not taking care of yourself, then you have more problems than New Year's resolution. I mean, that's, that's true. But at the same time, there are people in the world who just don't have time or, or forget to take care of themselves. I mean, I'm, I'm a mother of five. There are times when my husband's like, he here, go to the casino, leave, go it's do something for you. for yourself. I'm not talking, I'm talking about taking care okay, of five. yourself. Five seconds. Five. So guys, I mean, we appreciate the idea of self-care for people to take care right. of themselves. I think it's wonderful. I'm sure my mother thinks it's Oh, wonderful. absolutely. I'm not downing self-care, obviously. I just think it should be an everyday staple and not a New Year's resolution. Right. My, well, like, yeah, but back in your day, New Year's resolutions was quitting smoking and making sure not to put the dog out before midnight. Right. And saving money. And Okay, number two. Uh, make arrangements for date night. So the second one is make arrangements for date night once a month with your significant other. I think everyone, mothers and not... Um, mothers with small children. I think that everyone should do that to keep, you know, your relationship new and fresh and be able to spend, you know, one-on-one -on -one time but with your significant other. But is it a good New Year's other. resolution? Absolutely, if you're not doing yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's I really a good think one. that's a good one. It's a good one. It really is. Uh, so New Year's resolutions, that one, I think I would even use that one oh. because Derek and I... Myself like, as well. Yeah. I think last night was the first night that my husband and I went out as a couple in like three or four months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my husband and I do not do that very often at all okay number three. number three so this one is don't just hit the gym but look for healthier meals to do with you and your family um so i actually appreciate this one a little bit because i have to eat healthy anyway because of my gluten intolerance but at the same time i don't know if i'd make a new year's resolution to make healthier meals i feel like that's something that organically you should well, yeah, get it organically yeah. okay right well so. you and i defer in that a respect because I am a heavier person so I believe that people who are heavier than they would like to be I know you tell me all the time I'm not yeah fat, you're not She's but not I, I think that people who are heavier than they personally would like to be um, if they want to lose weight that is the best way to do it fad diets are just that so eating healthier and you know having a healthier regimen or whatever is a better New Year's resolution than going on slim fast right all right number four so number four is find a hobby that you'll like and stick with it. I really like this one. I really like this one. Um, I think that everyone has a hobby going into New Year's. So the stick with it part, I think, should be the resolution that you, you know, you resolve to stick with the hobby that you have. But I think that everyone has at least one hobby they enjoy. I feel like I won't use this one, though, because I have so many different resolutions. Resolutions. Blah, 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 because <laughs> I have so many different hobbies already. Like, so I draw, I paint, I crochet, I use my Cricut. Like, I do so many different things. I feel like if I add in another hobby to stick with, that I would never have time to do anything else. I think the resolutions, to me, are things that you want to change about yourself and pursue. And I think that you everyone that already. and everyone has a hobby. So I don't think that, you know, that's a change at all. Not everybody has a hobby though, mom, just because we have them. Not me. That doesn't. Now, everyone could. has something recreationally that they like to do, even if it's watch TV. Okay, wait a second. You know. no, okay. Well, let's ask them. Guys, do you all believe that everybody in the world has a hobby already and has, you know, no need? Give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment. Let us know. Do you think everybody already has a hobby? And some people might just not know it's a hobby. And if so, what are some of your hobbies? We could actually get a video together looking up and exploring your hobby, especially if it's one that she and I have not 
introduced to ourselves yet. Yeah, I mean, I'm, guys, like, let's be legit. I'm not going to, like, sit and forge anything. So if you're a forger, way to go, you. I can't do that because I'll burn myself. I'm not. Nope. Um, I'm not accident, a hiker. Accident I prone. I don't run unless someone is chasing me with a knife. I it's mean, just not a thing but that I do. We can. If you guys tell us your hobby, we can actually go through create a video, take different segments of doing that hobby and showing you guys, you know, that we tried it. And, and we can give our opinion if we Oh, a video agree. of me running. Wow. Ooh, that's okay. going to be a good one. We're going to do that now. All right, moving on. <laughs> number five. Re resolution. Re re resolution number five. So this one says, uh, go out and make some new mom friends. Well, first of all, I hate the term mom friend that oh is also gosh. like the term tummy time which i think is also new and stupid sorry but mom friends uh to me uh, i think in their context are other moms I, I think that the truth of the matter is if you want a resolution to go out and make more friends you should just make more friends mom friends dad friends single friends any friends. Uh, I don't think that you should make friends with someone just because they're a mother, and I don't think that you should stop shy away from someone being a friend because they're a mother. So I think the mom friend is a little bit too pigeonholed. I feel like some women make mom friends so that they can feel better about their parenting. Like, they'll make a mom friend and find out that parent doesn't do something perfect, so they're like, yay, I'm not as bad as I thought! Okay, this is gonna sound really bad, because I know mom blogs are very, very popular right now, but I was not a perfect parent. I have wonderful children. I was not a perfect parent. And I never professed to be. And I never aspired to be because it was an unattainable goal. You've seen those things on Facebook though, right? Where it's yeah. like only pictures of the beautiful and wonderful things Absolutely. about the parenting. And they beautiful forget. Beautiful children that look like they're on the, the cover of a magazine. They never have sticky hands. They never say no. They never throw tantrums. And, you know, if you do live in fantasy land, give us a thumbs up yeah. and tell us if your children are perfect, beautiful little nymphs that never make a mistake uh, i'm telling you right now every single one every single one of the women that tells us that, that their children and their lifestyle is heavenly perfect have um french fries in the back of the car yeah right? i absolutely uh, i'm i'm against the whole online everything is wonderful and flower and rainbows and then everything under the surface is volcanic yeah, honestly, somebody's guys, kid like getting of everything pooped all over the place and started eating it nobody's taking video of that putting it on facebook and going no, look at my life absolutely <laughs> look at this. not but like right now, you and I are sitting here. Right. I mean, we're not perfectly quaffed and in evening gowns. We are who we are. It right. may be not perfect, but it'll be a lot of fun. I'm trying to oversell it, Mom. All okay, right, number on. six. Number six, joining a mom group on Facebook. Okay, so this one, I'm, okay. I'm not doing it, okay? okay. Not doing it. Um, if you guys want to do that, cool and kudos. I think that's great. Uh, getting opinions and stuff like that. I did yeah. when I was first a mom, but now... Nope. I started to say, you know, there are some people who turn to their mother like I was able to do and you were able to do when, right, when right. they had children. But there are some people who don't have immediate family to help. And those mom groups might be a way for them to reach out and ask questions about something that they've never been a part of before. Moms, so I think that's a, a very good thing for new yeah, moms. Yeah, for new moms, this would be a good one. For moms like us, you yeah, know. Um, Okay, so number seven I kind of like. It's, it's telling you, take more photographs and print them rather than putting them on <laughs> Facebook. I am a okay. diehard believer that the printed photo is something that never should have went away. People should okay. not just have digital photos. The print them thing is the only part of that that you would really need to work on yeah. because my daughter takes multiple photographs of Check herself, her of me, of right our there. family, Check of her out. kids, of life, of... A guy standing on the corner, if it's interesting. She in a Batman costume. Pictures. Oh, that was when you were... Oh, my daughter took senior pictures for a friend of ours. Hello, Casey. Hi, Casey. And um, this year, and did a wonderful job, but we did see a guy dressed as Batman, and we did have to have a photograph awesome. of that. All right, I, anyways, guys, so let's move on. Uh, but just uh, before we move on, print your pictures, guys. You never know when somebody that you love is not going to be there tomorrow. And having a physical printed photo, I mean, it's just like opening a brand new book. It's, oh, yeah. There's nothing like it. And send us photos of yourselves. We want to see our subscribers. Selfies! We absolutely Selfies! love the fact that people are joining our channel. And we are so intrinsically grateful. So give us a picture. Give us a comment so that we can thank you properly. Oh, yes. Send us comments in there and send us pictures. And we'll create a video. Give it a shout out to each, every one of our subscribers oh, that have done that. I think that would be a great idea 
idea, guys. That would be super fun. So yeah. give us as many as you can. Hey, without you, we wouldn't be doing this. Uh, that's but not we'd true. be doing this, we'd but not on be. video. Yeah. We'd, we'd probably still be doing it on video. Yeah, probably. Like, not gonna lie. Okay. Yeah. All right, number eight. So number eight is awesome. It is take more trips with family. And I think everybody, everybody, myself included, like right. we want to go to New York this year because Hunter wants to go to New York. So I try to take one family vacation and one vacation with my significant other, my husband, Derek, uh, at once per year. So two vacations a year. That's what my mother did. Recently, we just took a, a vacation with my father, his wife, his stepdaughter, um, her sister, my daughter, her husband, all the grandkids. I mean, there was oh, like yeah. 12 of us going to Gatlinburg yeah. and it yes. was amazing. Guys, it was generation. Yeah. Age gap from like 75 to two. It was really good. Yeah. It, you should really spend time, time with family like that. Guys, that's memories not, that we have that we'll be able to cherish forever. If you haven't been to Gatlinburg, guys, it's Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Make oh, your absolutely. way out there. I'll put a link down in uh, in the description oh, so yeah. you guys can check it out. But if you have not been to Gatlinburg and you guys want to think of somewhere to go for the summer coming up, Gatlinburg, especially during the winter, it's beautiful too. It's in it the really Smoky Mountains. It's beautiful scenery, and there's so many things to do that are family friendly from age zero to 100. Doug, you've been going since what age? Grandma started taking Since you I was home. born. Yeah. And, yeah. I've been going my whole life, and my father was going before that. So, you know, our it's husbands, been a yearly thing. Our husbands had never been. We oh, actually both yep. introduced them to Gatlinburg. Absolutely. It's a, it's a good one. Moving on. Question number nine. Or, blah, blah, blah. Resolution Every number nine. Spend more time with extended family. I really like this one because people get so intertwined yeah. in their home family life and their direct family that they forget that there are other family members out there or they're just too busy running. It's not like friendship, guys. So friendship, you can spend months not talking to them and give them a call. But like my brothers, we are not 100% like close in that my brothers and I aren't because they are to each other well yeah the boys are to each other but I I'm different than they are so I'm a little bit more eccentric I'm a little bit more off the wall well, and we have cousins and extended family oh, yeah. that live in Kentucky dad Tennessee, lives in Florida um Indiana my dad Montana I have family in Montana I have family in Florida we have family scattered all over the country and she's right we absolutely if not spend one-on-one -on -one time, we should make time to make Skype calls and send, you know, snail mail, no text messages oh, or yes, emails. Writing. We should write letters and send cards and let people know that we actually thought about them and took the time to do that. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Road trip. Let's oh, go. Yeah. What we movie? Should. What movie? Oh, that would be Legally Blonde. Yes, Legally Blonde. Yes. Road trip. And if you have not seen our other video that explains a little bit about ourselves, we do I'll commonly put the link speak. In the bio. We do commonly speak in movie quotes, and it does get annoying to the people that surround us. But we do it anyway. Apologies ahead of time, y'all. Yeah, ahead of time. All right. So number, number 10, ten, the tenth resolution, and the last one is more one-on-one -on -one time with your children, especially if you have multiples. I love this one. You did not just kiss me. On yes, video. I did. Ew. I All kissed right. you on national video. Moving on. <laughs> so I have five kids, guys. I think this is great. I, I have, uh, I, I have, bleh. I have five biological children and four in my home, and I really think this is wonderful. I take my older boys. We go out. Uh, we'll go to like GameStop. We'll go to Walmart, and we'll do things that we are both interested in. Right. And one on one, or I'll take my boys to lunch. My husband has taken my oldest go karting. Uh, Lillian, me, and my mother went out with Lillian, got our got nails, her nails done. done. Mm -hmm. uh, that was the first time that I had taken Lily because she's so young. Uh, all she did was get her nails painted, guys. Word to the wise, just to recap a little bit, you should not at any point take an under 13 year old to a nail salon and get acrylic or get SNS or nothing like that. So between the time. Uh, Sorry. Their nail beds are still growing. Yeah. Give them a chance to grow. I mean, I know we've watched a lot of episodes of Toddlers and Tiaras, but that is not the real world. So, yeah, no, no acrylic, nothing. I took her, she got her fingernails painted. That was and it. And it was so cute. It was. She peeled it off right after she And went. this resolution should not be contained to people with children who still live at all home. Right. No. So, I guys, that was all 10. Let us know. Give us a shout out. Let us know what you thought the best resolution out of these were. Um, and, and before we go... What I'd like us to do right now is just one, we're going to each give one of the resolutions that we are doing, that we actually are doing. It may not be one of the top 10 of the new year, but 
we wanted to give you guys that. And let us know if those, if, if one of ours is something that you've chosen to do too. Or just let us know what yours are. We'll do which ones worked at the end of the year. Absolutely. We'll go ahead and go over if our resolutions actually worked or if they sunk down deep <laughs> in the desert. And I'm pretty Ooh, sure they will. Okay. All right. So mom, first, what is your resolution? Okay. I have decided to quit smoking, which is a cliche resolution, but I have been smoking since I was 16 years old. And I have decided that getting upstairs and carrying my grandchildren is causing me more lung problems than I really would rather do. And I really think it's a good thing for me, mind, body, and soul to at least try this. So I have gone to my doctor and I have gotten the patches and I am intending on starting those on the 1st of January. So, oh, I'm so excited for her, guys. So I'm really hoping that at the end of this year, when we do our update on the resolutions, that she has 100% succeeded. I've been trying Me as to well for three months, but I just can't do it. But I'm sorry. My resolution is I want to get my poetry book published before the end of the year. The date That's a right, good one. Well, the date right now is in February, but there's no guarantee that it'll make time frame to go, go out. So my goal... And it's, it's always good to have goals, guys. It's always Absolutely. good to make a goal, even if it's outside of the realm of what you wanted it to be in the first place. So my goal is to have my book published by the end of this year. So I'll yeah. let you know when we do that video, if it did or not, and whether or not Lonnie over here was able to quit smoking. Um, oh, keep your fingers crossed. We'll get a vlog together and, and go over some recaps of, of her time doing that. You will be that. right with yeah. me along with my journey on how hard or how easy this will be for me. I'll so, probably ask you that. A lot you'll, yeah, you'll be able to right. tell whether or not this is causing me uh, a lot of pain or not. And if we break, if something happens and our resolutions do not come to light, we are 100% going to create a video and let you know if it did not and why it did not. Absolutely. And when it did break. And when it did break. We will make sure to do that for you. So guys, that is the end of our recording. That is the end of our day today. It's the end of our video today, guys. Is it video? Yes. Yeah, we're videotaping a Are video. Mother, father, sister, for YouTube. brother. All right, let's try this once again. Yeah, absolutely. So, guys, that's the end of the New Year's resolutions that we have. There was a total of 10 of them. Remember to like and subscribe and go down in our comments. Let us know what your New Year's resolution is. Absolutely give us feedback on anything and everything. And we meant that when we said send us a selfie. Anything to let us get to know you the way you're getting to know us right now. Yeah, absolutely. So guys, it's been great. We are so excited to be spending this time with you and we were so happy that you were here to watch our video today. Please come back and see us as we'll get a video out once per week, sometimes a little bit more depending on how we're feeling. Absolutely. But uh, we appreciate you and thank you for so much, guys. Have a good day. See Bye. you on the next one. Bye.